Okay, let's uh, crack an example. So here I have um, the beginning to our first practice problem, the first word, um, all split up into digits of five for easier cracking. And then we're going to transfer this back into numbers with base 10 and then back to letters. So here's what we're going to do. This is 4, 16, this gives us a 20. 8, 16. No, wait, wrong. One, two, four, seven, zero, two, sixteen, four, eighteen, four, two, sixteen, that's a nineteen, four, four, sixteen, that's a sixty. Okay, so um, I just kind of went through all the uh, transformations really quick. You can pause the video and practice it on your own if you'd like. Um, okay, and then let's start cracking. First thing to know is when you are equating i and j and u and v, uh, that brings the numbers back down a little bit. So for 20, so we know that in a usual case, uh, 20 represents u, which can be equal to v, and then there's also i and j who are equivalent before them, so you are going to add 2 to this number. And then i and j lie, uh, i has a number of 8, j has a number of 9. So after 9, everything also needs to be added to 1 when you're decoding. So for 18, that's between, that's larger than 8, but smaller than 20. So we need to add 1 to that. Um, 19 also, we need to add 1 to that. And then 16 also, we need to add 1 to that. So that gives us 22. 22 is W. And then 7 is H. Um, 0 is A. Um, this is 19. 19 is T. 4 is E. 20. Oh, wait. Yeah. If this is a U, it could be a V and then 4 is an E, and 17 is an R. So whatever is your first word. Note that U and V, because they're interchangeable, it will um, probably be wise if you can use a little bit of common sense and figure out which um, creates a word and which doesn't.